you God you are worthy to be glorified you died for us went on the cross wow your name be glorified you increase and we decrease wow. you are worthy you are mighty we adore we praise honor and worship wow. you wow hallelujah amen well that's a great way to start the day what a beautiful day we have <laughs> and no wind so we can easily bring forth the word. Of course, we always can because the Holy Spirit is our helper. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for this opportunity again that we can come together on these grounds, Lord, now dedicated as a place to teach, preach the gospel, disciple believers, and Lord, I see them going out. And multitudes of lives coming to you through them. And Father, signs and wonders following. As they go and they give the gospel. Now, Father, I pray as we continue to teach on this subject that you've instructed me to teach, that you would give revelation, speak through me, speak through my translator, and and give us revelation this day. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. We believe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Who's attending Bible school this week for the first time? This is your first time. If you can your hand. All right, we have several of you. One, welcome. We're very glad that you could be here. And you can be seated. The Bible school. Mapunziro, a Bible is being recorded on audio and on video. Uh, Tima Jambula, 
kuti titakwao na pazitunzi kapena kongo mvira chabe. And we have given the ministry of glory of God three projectors. Ndiye au tumikawa glory of God apatsidwa. And I know uh, zida zo gritsira nchito kuti mtakuona zituzi kapena kuti zitwanitwani za utenga. I know that they are planning for a time when those projectors come and you can see all of the Bible school. Ndikudziwa kwenena kuti ako nzandhawi kuti abwira kuno ndikudzaonesa zipunso zonse zimeta karati kuponzira. So that you can see all of the classes or, or hear all the classes. Ndicholinga choti a uh, zonse zimeneta ponzira mdzakale ndikutekera ko mzimvetsera kapena kuzonera. That's one way that you can take it. Iyo ndinjiraso imodzi imene mtokara ndikutekera ko fikira zipunso zonse. We also have given many flash drives. Komanso tapereka ka chitsulo kamene timagritsa nchito kunyamulira mautenga uh, omvetsera kapena onera. For those that have computers you could if you have a laptop or something like that, you could do it that way. Inuyo, amene muli ndiku tekera kuti muli ndima laptop kamina computer kapena ama DVD prayer. Nde kuti mutaku wapeza maflash yo kuti muzika mvetsera kapena kuhonera. I know some of you have phones that have cards in them. E, ndi kuziwa kuti alipo ye na amene tili ndima phone, amene mkati makara kakadi, kusungira kapena kuti memory card. Yeah. Mutaso kuhupeza utengao, ndiye kuti pa phone yanu, and Pastor Clement is working on a way where we can also put the messages through audio MP3 on those cards. If you have internet, Ngati muli ndi zoru mikizana za mpepo. And I know some people do. Ndi kuzio talipa ntuhena kutekira linako. But if you have internet, it's also available on the internet. Ina amena nzatu muto kwa nita kugura kaya bando. Uh, muli ndi mafoni osi sita aja. Muta kubwera pa internet, pa YouTube, muzipeza, kapa Facebook. Zikumaone kanditu, kumaone nanditu. It's also available for MP3 download on internet. Komanso uh, pa internet ipo muta kuzite ngapo nditu mkuzibweresa mfoni mwanu. Ndi kumvetsi la ndawi ili yonse imene munga funi kumvetsi. So we're doing our best that we can provide all kinds of ways that Ndiye, you can take the school. Ifeo tie setsa kugritsa njito njira zose zimene zinga tandizile kutu wina aliense utenga u umufikire na kala nao kumene ali kutata kumvetsiraso nda wili yon sanga fune kumvetsira. And then we encourage you, share it with someone else, share it with your villages. Pachifukwa ichi, tiku pembhani kulina kuti mka upeza utengao, usango kala osunga kutu undu wandeka ngatika misura mine sabu ilekana. Because it's one thing to be born again. And that's the most important. But after you're born again comes what's called discipling. And the discipling is learning the foundational messages of, of the word. Uh, maziko, autenga, wabuino, because you cannot grow as a Christian if you don't know the word of God. Chifuka chone na kuti, mta takulandra yesu, kuti mkule, mkusoe kira kuti mpunzire mawa murungu, nchokacho, chinga kwenereze. And that's what the Lord has instructed me to do. Ichi, ndichimene murungu ineo, wandirangiza kuchindichijite is to go into nations all over the world and lay the foundation. Ndiko kumuka, kupita, so, and, and places we go, we preach with fire. People get born again, hallelujah. Pastor Gift, he's translated for me in preaching settings and evangelistic settings. Tikutandizana, kuralikira utengao. Mwanjira ina ndi zake kutizimpeke buwe.
here around this tree the first time we came we had 628 chiefs receive Jesus ah uh, tukumbukira tulendo yamba tabwera pano and hoku ana 28 mafumu adarandira Yesu zamtengwa patali kwambi and we're so thankful for that zimene zozo ine nali oyamika and many of you that are here you were a part of that that first time ndiye ndikudziwa kuti Nje ndikudzwa kuti ena ainu <coughs> ah ndi amodza mene muna ndira Yesu nthawi imeneyo ndipo muli pompano You were a part of that Ineyo ndinu modzi and you've Amen gone forward Yesu. ndipo mwapita chitsogolo ndi zimenezo And we're so thankful for that Tiamike chifukwa cha chimenezo But with the Bible school ah uh, nkhani ya mapunzira Bible That's where the growing comes Pamene po mpamene kukula kumabwera ukamapunzira That's where your Christian growth comes you learn the word Chikirisitu kuti chikule bwino ah uh, cha kudya chake chokulitsa ndiye kupunzira mawa mulungu And God's word literally brings out of you Ndipo mawa amulungu pangono pangono ama kutulutsa ni matatara za jawa zijazi zijandi zijazi it brings that new nature of god ama kuyamba no kukukonzani kukuumbani kuti mwaino mkaichi kadwe cha tsopano chotamba cha mabodza cha ufiti cha uhule ukambere mbere zichoke zija walking by faith ndi tsopano simuendaso ndi zitumwa koma mata zitumwa nkwenda mwa chikurubiriro you're walking out of your spirit you're Ndiyo. living out of your spirit ndi tsopano moyo wanu simkraso kutuvima kha moyo wa Zimu mwanga mene mulungu afunira and everywhere you go just like jesus kumene mapita tsopano yesu ama onekera pai mafana ndi yesu simkaraso otamba people change and who ama sinta and so that's the importance chimene ncho ncho funikira you want to know the word you want to you know i i've studied this bible now for over 40 years madziwa mau ineyo a uh, ndali sakatura bible ipanopo zaka zokwa na fote nkumali sakatura abe and i tell you something takuza nchina chake i'm still studying ndipo sinasie ndili chiwerengere i'm still learning ndipo ndikupunzira abe zambiri this is an amazing bible a uh, bible ndibuku limene ndiroda bwitsa kwambiri i don't even like to call it a book cuz it's not just a book it's living word Ineyo Bible sini mangoti basi kungo chira kuti ndi Bible koma ndi manankura kuti mau amoyo It's word that is meant to get inside of every son daughter of God and come alive Ndi mau amene amati akaroa mwa ndwina ali asamendi mwana wa Mulungu akamatuka mau amakara wa moyo nditu Every time you look into it God it wants to speak to you Ndau zonse mkama werenga zimakara kuti Mulungu Every time the teacher and the preacher preaches or teaches, God wants to speak to you. Now is on same mradi kikapena mpusa kampusa mau mungu makato mungu akufuna rangwa nendi inu. So you can expect Him to speak to you today. John de mundi mvetsere leronso inio muyembeke zere kuti mungu afuna rangwa nana nuzikunveka kodi mungu atani kodi. Hallelujah. Amen. So we've been teaching on the blood covenant. Ndiye takarati kupunzitsana a uh, pamutu wa pangano la mwazi. And we've given a lot of teaching up till right now on this subject. Ndipo pamutu u tapunzana zambiri ndipo tazama. So those of you that are just joining us today, we've taught a lot already. Inuyo amene mwati beza lero anzanu tu ndime yaenda tapunzira zambiri. And I want to encourage you definitely to go back and hear the whole class, hear all the classes. Ndiye ndikulimbikitseni kulena kuti muyesetse ah ndi anzana amena mabwera masiku ose kuti mu kadzi weso zimene tinaphunzira mbuyo. Every topic builds on top of the last one. Ah phunzo lero ose limene timaphunzira limakhala kuti likubwera pamwamba pali zanke limene tinaphunzira kale. So we are in this Abrahamic covenant. Ndiye tikuenda tsopano pa pangano la Abraham. And we have learned that punzira, the life of the flesh is in the blood. Kwena kuti moyo wa munthu kapena wa nyama ili yose umapezeka mwazi. The Bible is two testaments or two covenants. Bible 
la zala ndipangano ndipo mapangano akupenza kama awili akuna kuru the old testament pali chipangano cha kale and there is the new testament pali chipangano cha tsopano and in both testaments in order for them to be ratified or secured it required blood ndipo tikaona chipangano cha kale ndi chipangano cha tsopano chimene chimatsindika zipangano uh, sezi ndi mwazi the blood covenant is the strongest of all pangano la mwazi ndiye lolimbitsitsa kuposa pangano liri lose limapezeka kudziko la pansi it's a weaker tribe becoming one with a stronger tribe ndi a uh, pangano limene limabwera kulumikizana ndi chofoka kenaka ngushitenga chofoka acho ngukhali modzi cholimba ndi cholimba acho the hebrew word for covenant means to cut where blood flows a uh, mau oti pangano mchirango cha chiheberi amatamba sidwa kuti a uh, kuketsa mwazi kuti panganoro litsindikike and when that flows it's two becoming one nde mukuka kwa mwaziyo zimapangitsa kuti zindu ziwiri zimarumikizana ngukachi ndo chimodzi haleluya amen so the old covenant had the shedding of the blood of animals nje chipangano cha kale chimakhazikika pakuketsa kwa mwazi wa nyama and those animals represented jesus every time ndipo nyama zimenezo zimanenera chitunzi tunzi cha yesu chakubwera kwake it started with adam and eve right after the fall zinayamba ndi adam ndi hava atachimwa munda wa edeni there was a promise given to them panali alonjezo linaperekedwa kwa iwo that a redeemer will come through the seed of a woman kuti mwomboli kapena kuti mpurumutsi adzabwera kuchokera mbeu ya mzimai there's going to be a day lilipo tsiku lili nkudza that the redeemer the savior kuti mwomboli mpurumutsi he's going to come and he's going to give his life he's going to shed his blood adzabwera adzapereka moyo wake naketsa mwazi wake he's going to die adzafa nditu he's going to Uh, take within him the consequence yeyo adzabwera nkutenga zoipa zathu zonse he will become a sinner yeyo adzakhala chimo mmalo mwathu he wasn't a sinner he was the perfect lamb he was the perfect sacrifice yeyo sada yeyo kana lika mwana kangosa kangwiro kolungama he became a sinner with our sin yeyo ada sanduka ochi mwa chifukwa cha machimo athu kuti awatenge awalungamitse this was given to adam and eve ndipo lonjesano ili lidaperekedwa chinkana kwa adam ndi hava kuchiambiko and from that point on ndipo kuyambira ndawi ya kupelekedwa kwa ronjesano when the promise was given and the first covenant was cut pamene a ronjesano linaperekedwa ndipo pangano loyamba la mwazi lidakhazikitsika this covenant was passed on from generation to generation throughout the whole old testament ndipo a pangano la mwazi ilili linakhazikitsika nayamba kuenda kuchokera kumbadwa wina kupita kumbadwa wina mbadwa wina kupita kuwinanso na mapita chimpita pita ngumapita ndithu that blood mwazi umeneo it represented man's fall man's condition of sin umaimira that is kuchimwa kwa munthu nyengo ya munthu ya uchimo that man should have died kuti munthu samafunikira kuti mwale chifukwa cha machimo those sacrifices were burned in fire this was the future of a man in sin a msembe zimene zimaperekedwa zimafotokozera mtsogona kuti alipo wina amene adzafera anthu ndi nthawi imeneyo nyamazo ndi zimene zimafa malo moti anthu atachimwa kuti amwalire kutupa but aren't you glad kodi zimene zozo aren't you glad inu zimene zosi zabwino kodi when adam and eve saw death for the first time a inu tikuti nkhani yoti adam ndi hava Instead of them dying, dying an animal died. Mano moti iwo wa mwalire nyama zidafa mano mwakoti sichabwino ichi. Taomba niko manja inwa. Provided a substitute. Mulungu adabwera kuwapatsa cholo wa mmalo mwao. The animals always spoke to man God has provided a substitute. Ndipo nyama zindau zose wamena madzipa opereka sembe zomena kuti mano moti munthu akadamwalira mmalo mwake nyama iyakhalamulo wa mmalo mwa munthu. And then when Jesus came, 
And he laid down his life. And he took our sin within him. And he went to the fires of hell. He said when he was going through that and his blood was flowing, it is finished. Hallelujah. It's finished. Paul writes in the New Testament that it's not with the blood of animals that we're forgiven. It's what they represent. They the only one that can take care of this sin problem is a perfect man coming into the earth tempted, never falling to temptation. And being made sin. With our sin. Hallelujah. He took our sin. His blood flowed. He took our sin. We were the weaker tribe. And this is how we became one with him and he became one with us. We had nothing to give to him. Nothing good. The Bible even says our righteousness is as filthy rags. We had nothing good to give. We had nothing good to give. We had nothing good to give. We had nothing good to We We were all sinners. None of us deserve to get what we got. And Jesus was filled with all of that sin. All of our sin he was filled with. Because he laid down his life. But then he took it back. But you know what? When he took it back, he made a way. Because we were one with him in the sin. Now, through the resurrection, the price has been paid. We are one with him in the resurrection. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. In Romans 8, 11, it says this. If the spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in you. How many of you have the Holy Spirit living in you? He's living in you. The Holy Spirit is living in you. The Spirit of Him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you. You're not a sinner. Never say you're a sinner again. The real you is spirit. And your spirit is perfect. When you got born again, your spirit was completely made perfect. And that's where we learn to live. We live inside out. And it says it'll quicken our mortal bodies. Make it clear. 
ndiye kuti ndinoyera aena kuteka mudala ndira Yesu kwa mkumachi mwabe tukamba kuti mzimu analoka mwainu ali mwainu uyo mkama kala moyo wanu musama mvere zimene kunja kwa inu kukufuna koma zimene mzimu uo yeah. akufuna kuti niyo mtani kodi mukale ndiye muramulidwe ndi mzimu ali nkati yo osati mzimu uyo uramulidwe ndi nubzika panga ufiti ziwelewele ndi maboza ndi misaje ndi mijedo hallelujah amen you got it mwamvetsetsa that's covenant. He was one with us in our sin. But we're one with him in his righteousness. In his life. God's life is in you. Oh, somebody say something. That's good news. Hallelujah. So all these covenants <laughs> that were cut in the Old Testament Limene, over and over and Limene over were covenants Pangano. to remind the people Lokumbutsandu. there's a coming Savior. Kuti. And when they believed in that Nipo ichi. they were saved. Amapurumutsidwa. The difference between them and us. Kusiana pakati paiwo ndife ndi uku. The Bible says we have a better covenant. Bible kuti ifetiri ndi pangano rabwino. Established on better promises. Lo kaziki kapa ronjeza no rabwino. The difference between them and us. Kusiana pakati paiwo ndife. Is that God wasn't living in them before Jesus resurrected. Na kuti munga makamwa iwo Yesu asana zuki. But when Jesus went to the cross, the yes, old one pamtanda was finished. Chakale chinata and a new one came. Chatso pano chinabwera. We got a better covenant. Tindi pangano labwino. Because in the better covenant God lives in us. Chifuko pangano labwino ro munga makara maife. Hallelujah. Amen. He's in us. Ali maife. Jesus said to the disciples, the yes. Holy Spirit is with you. Yes, makamba ndo sauti mzimwera ali maino. But there's going to be a day he going to be in you. That day has come. That day has come. I'm glad to live on the other side of the cross. How about you? Let me that is explain. Akulena kuti pangano la kale ndiratsopano inundire to kala pangano labwino kale tumakamba kuti mzimwera amakala ndi inu koma pangano ratsopano mzimwera akukala mwa inuyo amen hallelujah amen so we're looking at the abrahamic covenant ndiye tumayangana nkana pangano la abrahamu adam and eve covenant Pangano la Adamu ndi mkazache hava. Cain and Abel. Kana na zanu. Abel cut covenant. So, Abel na yeso inali pangano mena na kazi kids. We saw Noah and his family. They cut so, covenant. Now we say Abraham cut covenant. And Abraham was also, we see a lot of detail about this. It's the same covenant. With Abraham, the promise was that through your bloodline, the Redeemer will come. And that's where the Jewish nation began. Through your children, through your bloodline, from generation to generation, that, that Savior will come. Kuyambira paiwe mbado ndi mbado ndi mbado ndipo mpurumutsiwa azarumikizika kumbado kuchokera paiwe So Jesus would eventually come through that bloodline Ndiye Yesu yo pakubwera kwake anaza kudutsira mubanja la uyu Abraham Jesus natural heritage was Jewish heritage Yesu mchibadwa badwa chibadwa chake adali muyuda Now let's look at this Tichone ichi Hallelujah <laughs> Let's go back to Genesis 17. Ma Bible manja Genesis 17. And let's look here at verse 5. 
Genesis 17, verse number 5. It says, And he brought him forth abroad and said, Now look toward heaven and tell the stars. If thou be able to number them, and he said unto them, So shall thy seed be. At that time, he doesn't even have one son. His name is Abram at this time. His wife's name is Sarai at this time. And he doesn't even have one son. But yeah, just like we're to preach the gospel, this covenant is to be passed on and on and on. And the Lord takes Abram out to an open sky at night. And he says, Look up. This is what your seed's going to be like. Hallelujah. And there's another place in the scripture where the Bible says that he was taken to the, sand, to the seashore. And he said, look at the sand on the sea. This is what your seed's going to be like. And he said, he wasn't just talking about the Jewish nation. Because remember, the promise we saw yesterday is that all families of the earth would be blessed. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. All families. And, and, and the scripture tells us that with Abraham, it was an everlasting covenant. An everlasting covenant. We have everlasting life. Thank you, Jesus. Tell your neighbor, it's so great to have everlasting life. You have that because of this covenant. We are a part of that stars in the heaven. We are a part of that sand on the seashore. Amen. Amen. Verse 8. Uh, 17, or I'm sorry. Genesis verse 8. Verse 6 says, and he believed in All right, you got it? 17. 17, verse 6. Verse number 6, I'm there. Yeah. It says, and he believed in the Lord. That again is a 17, verse number 6. I'm sorry, 15. I, I got you. I, we're going to go into 17. 15 in verse 6. 15, verse number 6. Yeah. Bible, we're going to that's, that statement is also found in two places in the New Testament. And you can write this down. It's found in Galatians 3 and verse 6. A Galatia, chapter 3, verse number 6. It's, Mawa meneo aripo. it's found in Romans 4 and verse 3. A Galatia 3, verse number three. 6. Romans 4, verse 3. Aroma 4, verse 3. And Galatians 3 and verse 6. A Galatia 3, verse 6. Uh, can I read? 
Agaratia chapter 3 verse number 6 Tagani zani Abraham hie Anakrupira murungu Ndipo Kuna wale ngedwa kwa hie Monga chirungamo And Romans verse 3 Romans chapter? Yep, Romans chapter 4 and verse 3 Aloma chapter 4 Verse yake ya number 3 Mhmm Aloma chapter 4, verse number 3. Bible, kunena kuti. 4, 3. It's the same. Kodi thing. marembo akuti. Akuti chiani. Abrahamu anakrupira murungu. Ndipo iichi. Chinawele ngedwa kwa iye ngati chirungamo. So we see those two verses found in the New Testament. Titakona mavesi awiri wa kuchipanja tsopano. Well, the New Testament goes back and makes reference to that covenant. Ndiye mkona kuti mau osewa akufroza Abraham kuchipanga no chakare. Now, let's go back to, to uh, Genesis 15. Timwere o Genesis number 15. And verse 7. Verse number 7. It says, and he said unto him, Verse number seven. Nipo mm anati -hmm. kwa iye. I am the Lord that brought thee out of the Ur the Chaldees to give the to give the land uh, to you to inherit. Inandine Yehova, amene dinakuturutsa iwe muuri wakwa akardea. Kuti ndikupatse iwe ziko limene lizakare lako lako. Now look what happened here. Tuna nchi mchuti kaban. It says, and verse 8, verse number 8, and he said, Lord God, that's a reference to Jesus in the Old Testament. Come again. That's a reference to Jesus in the Old Testament. Is, he was talking to the Lord God. When you see the term Lord God in the Old Testament, it's a reference to Jesus in the Old Testament. There are times he appeared to man in the Old Testament. As the Lord God. The Lord God appeared to Abraham. And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? And he said unto him, Take a heifer of three years old. And a she goat of three years old. Let me take the Bible. Verse number. Verse number eight. Ndipo anati ambuye murungu, nanga. Nizadziwa bwanji kuti ndizakala achorowa nchorowa changa changa ndipo anati kwa iye a uh, kanditengere ine ngombe ya ikazi ya zaka zitatu ndi mbuzi ya ikazi ya zaka zitatu ndi tonde wa zaka zitatu ndi njiwa ndi bunda so what do you have here these are the sacrifices that later on were used in the law. And he took unto him all these and divided them in the midst and laid each piece one against another, but the birds divided he not. Verse number nine. Ndipo anati kwa iye. Kanditengere ine. Okay, verse number ten. Ndipo anatenga iye zonse zimenezo na zidula pakati naika bandu popenyana ndi linzake koma mbarame sana zidule. And go ahead, I want you just to read down through verse 18. Okay. Verse number 18. Siku no, romero. No, 11 through 18. Go ahead and read down. Ah, 11 through, through 18. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Verse number 11. Pamenepo, mimba ina tsikira panyama. Abrahamu anaingitsa iyo. Ndipo, 
linali nkuro wa dzuwa ndipo tulo tatikulu tinamkwera Abraham ndipo taunani kuopsha kwa mdima kwa kukulu kuna mkwera iye. Ndipo anati kwa Abraham. Ziwitsa nditu kuti mbeu zako zizakala alendo mjiko laheni. Nidza turukira iwo. Ndipo iwo azasa utsa izo zaka mazana anai. Verse number 14. Ndiponso mtunduo atzautu mikira ine ndiza uwerusa. Ndiponso pambuyo pake atzaku turuka ndi chuma chambiri. Verse number 15. Ndipo iwe uzakala kwa makoro ako mtendere. Nuza ikidwa ndi ukaramba wabwino. 16. Koma iwo azawere nganso kuno mbado wachinai pakuti mpulupulu za amori si zina kwani litsi kama pakuti mpulupulu za amori si zina kwani lidwe verse number 17 ndipo panali pamene tinalo wadzua ndi kuza mdima taonani nganjo yofuka uti ndi muni wa moto wapita pakati pa mabanduro 18 siku lomwero yehova anapangana chipangano ndi ablam na t ndi zakupatsa mbeu zako ziko iri kuyambira pa mtsinje wa ijipitu kufikira pa mtsinje wa ukuru msinje wa yufulate all right here's what happened ichi ntimani tina jitika so abraham was to take these sacrificial animals abraham afuna kuti atenge nyama zoseza zipeleke nsembe and to cut covenant na ikapanga he was to sacrifice, he would, the blood was to flow. And the animals were divided. The animals were here. And the animals were here. So you had half of the half of the sacrifice here. They were split in half. And the other half here. The birds, there was one bird here, a pigeon, and another bird here. That was a dove. Well, when this happened, the glory of God came upon that. And the Bible says that Abraham... Abram fell into a deep sleep. Anybody remember another place where that happened? That happened with Adam and Eve. It's not a deep sleep. What happened is he fell out under the power. Sometimes that happens when the power of God comes on the scene, it knocks people out. And so here Abram is, he's out under the power of God. And you have these sacrifices. In fact, let me just get, have two of you. I need two people to stand up here. Real quick. Changu, 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 changu. All right, somebody that's not afraid to sit on the ground. All right, can you sit on the ground? You sit here, okay? You sit here. And then you come and you sit here. I know you guys aren't afraid to do that because I watch you guys dance and roll on the ground. <laughs> okay, so you guys would like... I'm not saying you're dead, okay? 
makosa na siku tini yomwa marida uta ine anandi pa kumeneko na fadara basi mchite mwa we're we're not gonna kill you siku kupani yai but you guys are representing something here koma inio mukimi na china cha kumene mwa karida you're like representing the the heifer the goat the 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 bird you're representing the sacrifice the sheep the ram kuta kudula ni pakati ka hafu kambuzi kari uko so half is here tadula and half is here and then you got Abraham I need somebody else to be Abraham who wants to be Abraham all right you just lay out on the ground you're like out under the power of God just like receive all right go ahead and lay it out kama gona kachaga da kachambali kamzipanga mkonono ngagona ina ehe makosa pamene so abraham uyo yeah there we go he's like abraham abraham uyo ali apa well abram ali abram thawi mene and so we got the power of god here ndeso pano mpamvu ya mulungu ina tsika and so the lord god ndi atate mulungu he appears anaonekera kwa hiyo and what he does chimana chita as he walks like this. Now follow me translator, follow me. He walks like this. Does anybody know what that is? That's called a figure 8. It's the num it's a figure 8. Do you know what that means? It's the same thing that this is supposed to mean. This means that this is an everlasting unbreakable covenant. It never quits. It is always there as a promise. It goes on and on. It on and on. I am forgiven. I am forgiven. I am forgiven. I am healed. I am blessed. Because Jesus has become who I am as a sinner on the cross and I have become who he is on the resurrection we are one hallelujah Hallelujah. that was the covenant it was a sign of the ever lasting covenant it's the same with the land. You see all this land mentioned that is where the nation of Israel is today. That's why I tell you what, Israel will win this war. And it's a dangerous thing for nations to go against Israel. You know why? Even though there are Israelites there that are not saved. But God still keeps his covenant. Do you understand? That land belongs to them. And there's going to be a day that Jesus is going to come back and bring his kingdom and reign from that land out over the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's what happened on this day. The glory was there. The blood was flowing. Abraham was under the power of God. And the covenant again was cut. As a reminder of this is what's coming. This is what's coming. All right, let's take a 10 minute break and we'll come back. Thank you. So ready? We're going to so raise him from the dead. Hallelujah! Come up. Amen. Tukan, tukan, tukan. Tivu me kwan pinisogwa nateni.